Hello everyone, my name is Rudolfo and I'm studying to get my next license in the boiler industry and today I will ha I have 10 questions and my best answer to help you guys on your study. What is a closed feed water heater? What is a closed feed water heater? So a closed feed water heater, it's a heater where water and steam do not get in direct contact. Like in a condenser, when the steam comes from the exhaust turbine and water inside of tubes cool off that steam. Do not get in direct contact. That is a closed feed water heater. The opposite would be the open feed water heater, like the DA, where the water comes from the top and steam comes from the bottom in direct contact, warming up the feed water and removing oxygen. That's a direct contact. That's an open feed water. Closed feed water, water and steam do not get in direct contact. What is a check valve? Check valve is a special purpose valve, purpose valve that allows flow in only one direction. Okay. Where in the plant you would like to find a check valve? Where in the plant are you likely to find a check valve? So check valve is required, okay? Required be in the feed water line between the feed pump and the boiler. Why? Because when you don't need to feed water into the boiler, okay? The pressure in the boiler will not push the water back to the DA because it's the the check valve will close, okay? So, required feed water line between the boiler and the feed water pump. What's a cyclone separator? Cyclone separator. So, cyclone separator is to separate, okay, moisture from the steam. And you would like to find this in water tube boilers, okay? On the top of the drum to separate moisture from the steam going out. Water soften softeners remove which minerals? Water softeners remove which minerals? Calcium and magnesium ions are removed uh, in water softener by exchanging for sodium ions, calcium and magnesium. What cause condensate return lines corrosion? What cause condensate return line corrosion? So, low pH in the water, acid water, okay? That's caused by diso uh, dissolved gases, okay? That's CO2 and O2, okay? You will find that in your return lines, making the, the pH on the water really low to acidic point that will corrode the lines. What are the three contaminants in makeup water? <clears throat> what are the three contaminants in the makeup water? Dissolved gases, dissolved solids, and suspended solids. Okay, are the three contaminants in the water.
carryover is a danger and could lead to carryover is danger and could lead to water hammer why because carryover will be a uh, amount of water going with the steam and as that water gets speed and start to move in the steam line when they see a elbow the inertia of water will boom slam on the elbow before trying to go up that we call water hammer oxygen in boiler water will cause peeling okay you need to memorize that very common question Ox oxygen in boiler water will cause peeling okay what boiler horsepower requires continuous attendance so in massachusetts boilers that has 501 boiler horsepower and above requires continuous attendance okay uh, just to go back for the three contaminants in makeup water I said dissolved gases dissolved solids and suspended solids so imagine in the lake and you pulling water from the lake to feed your boilers okay you may find some leaves some branches that are suspended solids okay and will be removed by um, filtration okay ice cream will pick up those Dissolved solids, okay. Dissolved solids, you will see um, calcium magnesium, okay. Those minerals dissolved solids, calcium magnesium. So we remove to make a softener, soft water, okay. And dissolved gases, you know, so extra oxygen in the water and any other gas that will be removed by heating especially our most uh, common that we will remove is dissolved gases are oxygen okay so i hope you guys like it share with friends like the video and i see you guys tomorrow